Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school this is Shahada Diyatar assistant teacher of science of national ideal English version school day shift today I am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 students my dear students our today's topic is chapter 8 reading done plus exercise our today's topic chapter 8 reading done plus exercise lecture number 6 and SW number 5 now let's start our class this is chapter 8 hygiene Num <coughs> health and disease we sometimes suffer from diseases such as the common cold diarrhea dysentery typhoid pox cholera and tuberculosis how do we get diseases how can we keep ourselves healthy now we'll discuss about this disease there are invisible germs all around us some germs cause diseases in people these germs can get up into our bodies when we drink or eat contaminated water or food if we rub our eyes with dirty hands or puts dirty hands in our mouth germs um, can also get into our body when germs multiply in our bodies we will we become ill <coughs> now see this figure germs how germs cause disease <coughs> if we rub our hands yeah, uh, uh, if we rub our eyes with dirty hands and put uh, or uh, put this dirty hands in our mouth germs can also get into our body okay then um, <coughs> we can we will become ill now call number next page uh, number two keeping our body healthy our body has a natural ability to fight against diseases and destroy germs maintaining a healthy life is a good way to improve such ability a well balanced diet can keep our body healthy my dear students underline this line a well balanced diet uh, underline this line a well balanced diet can keep our body healthy it is also useful to do moderate exercise and get enough rest and sleep <coughs> this see this figure moderate exercise and sports these uh, children are <coughs> doing moderate exercise and sports this is balanced diet and this is uh, enough sleep also need to keep our body healthy now if we get a disease we need to see a doctor and take medicine we also need to take rest, uh, eat nutritious, uh, nutrition, food, nutrition of food and drink safe water uh, to recover from diseases. <coughs> now go to next page, prevention of diseases. Germs are everywhere, germs are everywhere. Each time we touch sometimes uh, such as a door, handle, table, chair or toilet, we can pick up germs or spread germs but we cannot avoid touching everything germs can also spread through the air from person to person when an effect, infected person sneezes or coughs germs can spread through insects such as mosquitoes and house flies the most important way of preventing diseases is to stop the spread of germs here are good habits to stop germs spreading and prevent diseases keeping the body clean we need to take uh, care of our body by keeping it neat and clean we have to brush our teeth after meals and bath with uh, clean water and soap every day we also need to clean <coughs> we also need to clean cloths regularly we need to care for our skin, hair, nails, eyes and ears to keep our body healthy. Washing hands. <coughs> Germs can get into our bodies when we touch our mouth, eyes or nose with dirty hands. Dirty hands can spread germs when we touch something. Washing our hands with soap and clean water is the best and simplest uh, way to prevent diseases. We have to wash our hands before eating and preparing food and after using the toilet. Now, using safe water. Polluted water causes disease. We need safe water to prevent diseases. We have to use safe water to drink, to prepare foods and to wash our body. 
Safe water helps our body work properly and washes germs off and keeps us healthy. Now, cleaning the environment. We need to clean our surroundings to reduce the spread of germs. Regular cleaning with soap and water is one of the useful ways for removing germs. In our houses or schools, we have to wipe the benches, tables, chairs, etc. and sweep the floor to keep it clean. We should put garbage uh, such as kitchen wets, uh, wastes, paper or banana skin in dustbin or a specific place. My dear students, underline this line, we should put garbage such as kitchen wastes, paper and banana skin in dustbin or a specific place. We should also keep toilet, toilets neat and clean because germs can spread through urine and stools. We have to use toilets properly and wash our hands with clean water and soap. So my dear students, we have already learned that, we have already discussed that, how uh, can uh, <coughs> we can prevent our, uh, how can we prevent the, uh, our diseases. Now go to next page, exercise. Okay, exercise number one, fill in the blanks. Number one, we may get sick when dash enter into our body. We may get, it will be, we may get sick when germ, germs, okay, number one, germs enter into our body. First fill in the blanks uh, will be, we may get sick when germs enter into our body. Number two, to keep good health, we need to eat balanced diet. It will be balanced diet. So, number two will be balanced diet. Okay. Number three, we should put garbage or waste in dish or specific places. That means it will be dustbin. We should put garbage or waste in dustbin. Number three will be dustbin. Dustbins. Okay, number four. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get sick. It will be sick. If we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get sick. Okay, my dear students. I hope all of you have understood. Uh, your today's SW number is 5 and uh, this fill in the blanks. <coughs> do this as your SW and submit uh, it on Saturday. My dear students, I hope all of you have understood our today's topic properly. Practice properly at home. See you again in the next class. Allah Hafiz.